Hey everyone and welcome back to another Tuesday tip where in this video I'm going to be showing you exactly how I edit my Instagram videos using the vMaker video editing app for iPhone. This is a free video editing app for iPhone. It has a ton of functionality and remember in this tutorial that I am not doing an overview but showing exactly how I edit things. I have a full tutorial video and overview for the entire app and all of its functions. You can find that in the info card right here. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started editing a video using the vMaker app. So we're going to press the plus sign button here that comes up. I do have my phone in airplane mode so the different templates and things won't show up here. But the first thing you do is you pick your clips that you want to use. So I'm going to be picking these four clips right here and it shows you the order that you pick them in. And one thing that I do have to point out here and not being biased because the developers of vMaker did reach out and want to sponsor this video. I am going to be unbiased here in saying that we don't have the option to pick our favorites anymore. We just have videos, photos, collections, and materials, and we can't swipe over or pick anything to find our favorites. So you have to know exactly which clips you want to choose, and that is why I went through and made sure that the ones I wanted would be first here. So now that we have them, they show up on the bottom, I'm going to press the check mark. And that's going to bring up our project here. And the first thing that I do whenever I'm editing a project for Instagram is I shorten the clips up to where I want them to begin and where I want them to end. So with this one, you use this little white bar here and I'm going to choose, I want it to start right about here. And when I'm editing this, of course, it's a BMX video. I want to cut as close to the action as I possibly can. And the action here, if we scrub through it, is him riding around this wall. So I'm cutting as close to that as possible. Even though it's the first clip in the video, I still want to cut pretty close to it. Sometimes you don't want to do that, but in this case, I do. So then we go to the end here. We're going to cut it right after he comes out of the wall. And then what I'm going to do, because if we move this back out here, you can see that there's some high-fiving going on in those things. And that's something I wanna show. So I'm gonna cut it right when he comes out of the wall. And then I'm going to slide over here and make a duplicate of this. With that, I'm gonna zoom in on the timeline here, select my duplicate, and then I'm going to edit this one out to the high fives, just like we did before. So I'll do it a little bit quicker here. And as you can see, here's the high five. A few more, I want the ones that come right after that. So let's see. One feature that I do like is that it automatically re-centers you after you trim. So we'll keep going a little bit. All right, so right there is after he highlight, after he high fives the camera. So now you can see we've got a high five here, a high five here, and right there is why I want it to end. So I'm gonna drag it to that point. And now we're into the next clip. So as you can see, it goes here, and the action that I want is all the way over here, and this is where it starts. So I'm going to select right there, and we're going to cut it. That cuts it into two pieces and we're going to remove the first half of it. This is another way to just trim, but it's a little bit quicker and a little bit more precise because you can place the playhead exactly where you want it, press the cut button, and then you can remove the pieces that you don't want. So let's see how that goes here. Not too bad, and as you can see, scrubbing through this is pretty smooth to edit with, and it automatically pre-selects the video that you're over whenever you're in it. So let's see here. We want to cut this one. I'm gonna go through this a little bit quicker here. I'm gonna cut it right before the action. As you can see, it comes round. This clip's a little bit longer. And I'm going to cut this one a little bit later because in certain cases, you wanna go a little bit longer even though the action has stopped because there's something else to see. And that's something I always keep in mind when editing these videos. And for our last clip, so I'm gonna come in to right about here, right before the action, and remove it. Okay, so that's where I want to cut this one at, and I believe there's some more after the fact here. So let's start it right about there. 
And the idea here is to keep anything that's interesting to you and you want to include in there. And I always like including high fives and things of that nature. So let's give this a playthrough. See what it looks like. Okay, so after playing that through, I kind of want to cut the last part just until right here. This feels a little bit long, so we're going to remove that. And then from here, I want to make this clip the last clip. So I'm going to zoom out on the timeline. Oops. Sometimes you can miss press. Let's zoom out on the timeline. All you have to do is press done if that happens. Push and hold, we're gonna drag this one to the end, and then push done. So moving and reorganizing clips is very easy. I just wanted this one to be the last clip of the video. And I'm not sure if you guys could hear it or not, but there's a couple spots in here where I cut off my voice when I was yelling in the video. And that's not something I wanna do, so I'm gonna extend them just a little bit and let's see what that sounds like. Extend this a little bit. So now let's see what this sounds like. As you can see, I kind of talk a little bit at the end. We need to cut that out of here. And this is something that I do with this just to try and make them a little bit better. And as you could see, let's undo that and show you a feature of this app that I really like. And that is the waveform. So you can see there's a little bit of a peak here that shows where I was talking. And if we cut or just before that trimming it we know that it's gone because it disappears so now let's play it boom and I love the way that works so now that we've got the project laid out exactly the way we want it to be and the clips start and end exactly when we want them to according to the action that is within them the next thing that I do personally within my Instagram video editing process is think about the placement of the subject in the frame I try to shoot these things to keep people centered but sometimes that just doesn't work out for things like this as you can see if we crop this to a square the way that I post on Instagram he would be off centered to the left and that's not what I like in my videos so we need to fix that and what you can do in this app is that you can actually change your aspect ratio to a square format and then you can see it shrinks it but if you press the full button here it automatically zooms in but whenever we click adjust here on this clip to move it around you can see when we shrink it it actually cropped that video and that is not what I want to do because I like to go back and be able to fix things later if it crops it we can't do that so I'm going to press recover press done undo that action to get back to this because we can always crop it to a square in Instagram later. So what we can do here is the exact same thing. We'll press adjust with the clip selected, zoom in on this, and we got to think about our thumbnail here because the thumbnail is so hugely important with this and I think this would make a great one. I'm going to zoom in and what I usually do with my Instagram thumbnails is try to make the subject as big as possible within the frame and doing something that's just intriguing because the thumbnail is what makes someone either want to or not want to watch your video. So you always want to be thinking about that. I think this would make a great one. So I'm going to push done here. And now whenever we play through this, you can see that it's zoomed in exactly the way we chose it to be and it looks a lot better. So with that, let's scrub through the rest of this thinking about the square format. This looks good, looks great. He's perfectly centered, all of that looks good. We fixed that one already. Perfectly centered, perfectly centered. And if things go out every once in a while, that's not a huge deal. That looks great, that is centered, 
and then everything about this clip it's so long but most of it is centered in the process all right so i've watched through this thing and i've noticed a couple things that i need to change here mainly just extending this clip a little bit earlier this is why dynamically being able to edit these things and fix things later is so important in these apps and then i wanted to extend the end of it as well and now that i've fixed these things i've noticed at the end of the video that i accidentally cut the audio off so if i play it here you'll notice it cuts off the audio and how we fix that is we actually pick the audio track which is right here and as you can see, the audio track starts before it's supposed to as well. So this is the start, and this is the end. That allows us to add our audio back in. I know that this is something that you can accidentally do. If you accidentally press this and then press the button on accident, it can do that, but that's how you fix it. So now let's play the end here. That sounded good to me. And another thing that might help you guys if you accidentally change the starting point or ending point of your audio is that whenever you press on it, it automatically takes you to the beginning. So if you set your start, and then when you go to the end, you can scrub all the way to the end and set your end just like we did a second ago. I don't like to use a lot of filters or effects or even music for that matter on my Instagram videos, but if you guys do want me to do a video just like this one, but showing how to do the filters and effects and just make a cool looking Instagram video using this app with music and filters, let me know in the comments down below. But with that being said, I think we're ready to export now. Exporting is something that I had a lot of trouble with whenever I first did my tutorial and overview video. I couldn't even get it to export, but since then they have reached out to me and let me know that they've updated the app and it should be good for exporting now. That's one of the reasons why they wanted to sponsor this video. So what we need to do is press the export button. Then we check our options here. We've got different resolution options and frame rate options. I want 1080p, 60 frames per second. And all we have to do is press the save to album button. It's going to go through the process of exporting our video here. It does take quite a while to do sometimes. So I'm gonna time lapse through this and we'll see you guys whenever it's finished. We'll watch the finalized video and then we'll wrap this tutorial up. All right, so it looks like it successfully exported this video. Let's jump out of the app and go into the photos. Check the last video here. I did do a test render previously and now we can watch this video to see the final product. And there it is, the finalized successful render from the VMaker app. This is exactly how I usually edit my Instagram videos whenever I do it on my phone. So if you guys want more videos like this or you want me to show you how to do all the filters and things like that and make a fancy edited video for your Instagram page or anywhere you want to put it, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys are finding your way here from somewhere else or you're new here or haven't yet, consider hitting the subscribe button while you're down there. And hopefully that means that we will see you tomorrow for another video. I wanna thank you guys for watching. I wanna thank VMaker for sponsoring this video and goodbye.